soccer, but again, there's a sea of blue jerseys in front of him. One of those is Dean Healy. Healy, though, misses the tackle on John Murphy. Murphy charges forward, gets in as far as uh, John, John Murphy. Murphy charges forward, but he's fouled in the tackle there, and it's a free in to Carlo, and it looks he looks to have taken a heavy bang. It looks like a dead leg. Also a good soccer man who used to play in goals for Lord Celtic back in the day. Very good, very, you're, very, very good. you're pulling out all the stats here now, Ian, you're pulling out all the stats, but it's high and it's over the bar. It's first blood to Carlo here in, in Netwatch Cullen Park. Back as far as Mark Kenny, Kenny wearing 11, steps inside his man, twists and turns again, but the tackles are too strong. We're not breaking tackles down there, we'll have to start breaking through at some stage. Dean Healy's on the ball, this man might break through, he charges down the line, pops a little ball in as far as... Uh, yeah, well, Paddy O'Kane. O'Kane will seem to be falling, probably a little bit harsh. Yeah, the Carlo fans didn't yeah, know it's, he that. seemed to be falling, and I don't think it was as uh, a high a tackle as a man. The ref blew for a high tackle, and we'll probably we'll take, those, we'll take it. It's the rub of the green on that one. The, this one we'll be hoping, anyway, we'll be expecting, and we'll be hoping he's been good on him all through the Auburn Cup. So Chris steps up to this one, his familiar pose. Kicks it with his right foot, kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. Wicklow are on the score sheet after 14 minutes here in Nevatch Cullen Park. It's Carlo one point, uh, Wicklow one point. And now it's in the hands of that man, Podge Tool. Tool uh, plays a good ball up as far as Gerard Murphy. Murphy takes it. He's right underneath the stand, 65 yards out, outside of the boo. How here as far as Darren Hayden. Hayden in the middle of the field now. Takes the ball, solos, has a look, solos again. There's no movement whatsoever inside. It's it's a blank canvas in there. If they're looking up, if they're looking for the long ball in, it's not going to happen. If lads don't make runs, it's Oshin Manning is on the ball. Gives it to Dean Healy. Tries to run off his holder. Healy drives forward, kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. A trademark score from Dean Healy driving forward used the dummy run from Oshin Manning really well and drilled the ball over the bar just what Wicklow needed oh, Oshin Manning Manning picks up that ball solos forward with he's 65 yards out now he gives it to Dean Healy again Healy gets up ahead of steam goes past one tackle brilliantly pops a ball inside there's danger here chance here for Wicklow ball is into Jamie Snell Snell tries the boot saved by the defence somehow the keeper picks it up and it's a free out what a chance for Wicklow there, and we just didn't take it. Jeez. They're trying to stop the Wicklow runners now. They know they have a long hour ahead of them, I suppose, with the man down as well. Healy again takes two, three heavy wallops. So, Thinking about changing your kicker. Jackson, familiar pose, drills this one high and drills it straight over the bar. That's a good score from Jackson, a great kick. He trots all the way back to his goal. It's three points to Wicklow, one to Carlo here now. Um, 18 and a half minutes gone looking better Ian they're playing a little bit better there's a little bit more penetration there there goes back as far as the goalie exchanges passes with Shea, the midfielder Ray Walker Walker all the way back there exchanges passes with his goalie again back and forward they're having a look the keeper is out at the top of the D now. He bursts forward. He's still going with oh dangerous pass, but it gets there and it's in the hands of Sean Murphy. Murphy makes ground really fast. He's some man to cover ground. He's at the top of the D. He's gone as hard stopped and a free in Ushi and Manning, but he had to do something. Yeah. To be I fair, like I think Sean Murphy was kind of looking for the free as well. I think there, I was, think there wasn't much contact on him, but in fairness, he was getting away. He was with, with one dangerous. hop of the ball there. He was gone thirty <laughs> yards. Yeah. To be fair, he. Still, this is Carlo haven't been a threat since I don't know their last score nearly, and that was a free as well. So that one goes Darryl high and over the bar one. there. So Dara Foley with his second free from a similar position, and it's three points to Wicklow, two to Carlo here now. 23 minutes just gone on the clock. Plays a little one to with Kenny. What a terrible pass by Kenny. And it's picked off here by the Carlo men and they're rampaging forward with Connor Doyle. Doyle now ch charges down as far as the 45. Man outside him is Darrell O'Brien. O'Brien takes on, tries to kick with the left foot. Looked like he touched it on the ground, did he? No, but he's won his free and a free in. But again, a terrible, terrible turnover for Wicklow to give away. And to be fair to Darrell Foley, it'll be the third one. And this will level up proceedings here with just about 24 and a half minutes gone. He kicks with the right foot, kicks it straight over the black spot. And uh, Carlo now, three points, Wicklow, three points here in Netwatch Cullen Park, 24 and a half minutes gone. It was a, a poor turnover. Two, uh, two but Wicklow have been standing here and the free has been taken quickly. It's in the hands of Owen Root. We're a little bit asleep for that one. Carlo hadn't got the... 
the legs pumping or they'd have made further ground but again it's a free in Niall Donnelly is after fouling uh, that man Dara Foley players tussling just off the ball Darren Hayden and Jordan Morrissey are getting to test the fabric of the jerseys <laughs> Kicked off the ground, it goes high, it's dropping dangerously in and it's dropping over the bar and Carlo lead here now at 27 minutes gone, four points for Carlo, four frees, uh, all taken with a plum and Wicklow three points and uh, Wicklow need to reassert a little bit of authority on, or in and around the field now. Ball now is in the hands of Jordan Morrissey, I think it is out as far as Mike Bambrick. Bambrick goes all the way back across there to Dar O'Brien. O'Brien into Sean Murphy. Murphy in a little bit of space now, 65 yards out, takes off. Goes past Niall Donnelly, has Dean Healy front him up. Healy does really well to hold him, but is giving away a free? The referee says a free for... Sean Murphy there charging forward and again this this will probably bring us up to half time and a real chance for Carlo to, to go in two up here. As well there's three or four men around the post there. <laughs> it's a it's a real kickable one. It's a real chance for Carlo to go in two points up here. He kicks it high and the roar from the stand will tell you that it's high and it's over the bar. I'd say we're looking at half time here now, 39 minutes on the clock. Carlo five points, Wicklow three points here. You're all very welcome back to Netwatch Cullen Park here for the second half of uh, the first round of the Football League between Wicklow and Carlo here. Um, Sorry for a slip of the tongue earlier, I was corrected on it, I must have said kill there, but the ball is in and the game is on. Uh, there's two changes on the Wicklow team, Owen Murta is in for Jack Hamilton and uh, Connor Byrne is in for Gerard Murphy. With Carlo charge forward here with Brendan Murphy, the first attack of the game and he kicks it high, it's a fantastic score from Murphy from the throw in, a big kick, a rake and score high over the bar, 20 seconds on the clock, Carlo six points. Uh, Wicklow 3 and that's the last thing Wicklow that's needed, needed. Carlo, well, can't Aaron, have been a mark it can't be a mark because no. it has to be inside the 21 but Rory Finn with the left boot drives it high and again in. it's off the post again and this time Chris O'Brien has a, he gives it back to Owen Darcy Darcy swallowed up by two oh, or three players looked like a sliding tackle from a Carlo player there well, went to ground and yeah, we'll have to get something out of this but it's an easy, easy free for Chris O'Brien O'Brien kicks it high and kicks it over the bar and it's a two point game here in Nevatch Cullen Park, it's Carlo six points Wicklow four points, long pass underneath the stand to Connor Doyle, Doyle gives a great little ball in as far as uh, Dara O'Brien I think it is, O'Brien solos, twists turns, does really well, has a look you leave him with the ball, yeah. Wicklow can nearly sacrifice him and bring on a forward It'll, it'll go with them, it'll be more dangerous on the offensive. Again, Wicklow turned over, great ball from the kick out there, they turned it over and uh, Owen Darcy was, was fouled from the turnover and went to take the free quick. Carlo Clare stood in front of him and it's a real chance for Wicklow to get a point back here now. He's having a look, he's just at the top of the D by the time he'll kick it, he kicks it with his left foot, puts the boot through it and goes high and it goes over the bar. Score. Yeah, it goes over the bar. I thought the other umpire was going to have wide there for a second. Job in the goal, I suppose. And it's Carlo will build from the back here again. They charge forward with John Murphy. Murphy goes to the middle of the field, gives the ball out as far as uh, Jordan Morrissey. Morrissey is still charging forward. Mark Kenny's after him. Kenny saying, can't just get back to him. Gives the ball out to uh, Derma Walsh. Walsh kicks off his left foot from 30, 35 yards. Straight over the bar and another simple score from Carlo. Jamie Put Snell. Snell finds Dean Healy. Healy has a look around to see has he a little bit more time. He has. There's a man coming off his shoulder. He pops it in as far as Owen Murta. Murta tries to break the tackle. His jersey is pulled and it's a free in. And again, Carlo, someone from Carlo has said something and he's moved it straight up. You'd be disappointed if he's kicking this one wide. Many points from play have we, lads? I don't think we have anything from we, play. We it's only two, two points the whole game, or three points, is it? Dean Healy's point, I think, is the only point from play out of, out of six points now. We have five points from free, is one from play.
play. Cycle back out again now. Carlo are playing the game in with close half in possession. They're doing really well, and it's good play from Jordan Morrissey. Morrissey breaks two tackles. He has a look. Will he have a kick? He will. What a score from Jordan Morrissey! A massive score from Morrissey wearing number 70 in there, and it's a big, big score in this game. The air man done really well and kicked a great point. Pops the ball to Oshin Manning. Wicklow are trying to be patient here now, but they do need scores. It's in the hands of Owen Murta. Murta bursts forward, gives the ball to Dean Healy. Healy tries to go through two players. He goes through two players. Pops a little ball out as far as Dave Devereaux. Devereaux out to Rory Finn, and Finn is pulled down, grabbed around the neck. Again, he started the second half okay, but he's kind of gone out of the game again. You need them to be kind of making not, not necessarily the runs, the space isn't there, but you just need them getting, getting on the ball. Well, and make referee sees a handy mark, takes a quick, gives a hint as far as Mark Kenny. Kenny pops a little ball outside to Owen Darcy. Darcy takes off at this way, about 40 yards out. Brilliant pass in as far as Connor Bourne, who takes the mark. Does really well there, I think he... I didn't see the mark. The pass you're going to need with the numbers that Carlo are getting back exactly. there as well. Connor Burns just after kicking the score <clears throat> after the advance mark. Good play there from Connor Byrne and Wicklow now are bang in this one. There's only a point in it now with 15 minutes to go, as I said. But, you know, that's the first time we've, we've registered probably two scores in a row there. Oh, underneath the press box here, he charges forward. He's covering good ground. He's 65 yards out from his own goal. Gives the ball to Dermot Walsh. He pops it back in as far as Dara Foley. Foley has been quiet for the last few minutes as well. But here's Sean Murphy now. Murphy takes forward, goes with two, three Wicklow men and charges through. Murphy does really well. Brilliant play by Murphy. Brilliant kick by Murphy, is it? It is, and it's high, and it's over the bar. A brilliant score just when Carlo needed it. It's 10 points to Carlo away to him. What a score from Sean Murphy. Done really well, and he breaks past the Wicklow man. Uh, Healy tries to return, but Carlo have a couple of men now. This is dangerous for Wicklow. It's three on three here. They're 40 yards out. They're a long way out. Manning is injured as well. Connor Doyle keeps going forward. Wicklow on. Murta pulls him down. I think he had to. tactical foul, yeah, because I think they're in a lot of bother there. I think on Murta, as you said, O'Shea Manning looks to be carrying an injury, and he wasn't going to get if, if the ball was recycled. Game yeah, it's slowing the game down, and this free is going to put three points back in. By the looks of things, Wicklow still have. And Wicklow two boys didn't come on. They still have two lads over there waiting to to come in, but it's kicked high and it's kicked over the bar by Dara O'Brien. It's a three-point game here in Carlow again. Just seven minutes to go now. Carlow eleven points, Wicklow eight points. Further out the game yeah, if they want. To be for that four point but the ball breaks in the middle of the field Mark Kenny gets the ball out to Podge Toole it's opened up down the middle here for Toole Toole has a look he's fouled and he gets it but it opened up really opened up there Shawnee Furlong drills that one over the bar from straight in front of the post 11 points to Carlo now 9 to Wicklow with 37 minutes on the clock that's it, that's it. and Carlo gained their first two points in the Division 4 of the league in 2020